The late Ian Anderson was a crucial member of the Clinton Comets championship teams, and testimony from his teammates and friends let us know the kind of man he was on and off the ice as we present to you a Grassroots Through Utica, presented by the Indium Corporation. Um, I actually met Ian uh, the same year as I met my late husband, Bill Horton. Uh, Ian was the general manager coach for the Mohawk Valley Comets here at the auditorium and in 1976. And uh, Bill was uh, with the Indianapolis Racers of the WHA and was assigned to play here. So I actually had uh, the opportunity to get to know Ian um, um, as both a coach and, a, and as an individual. <laughs> um, Ian was a uh, very, strong, uh, very strong man, also a, uh, uh, a person of strong character. He uh, uh, was admired uh, for his tenacity on the ice. He is remembered as being a hockey icon um, and earning the name of uh, Moose for, for, for his uh, style of play on the ice. Ian Anderson, and a big, big fella, and he was the enforcer. And what he did is allow us, for our line in particular, because, you know, today they're all big, but, you know, we weren't all that big, but we were big as everybody else was. So, uh, what he did is let us play hockey. And if you're going to let us play hockey, we're going to destroy you. Ian and I were great friends, and I, I, and I think I said it at a banquet up there a few years ago. I don't know whether we'd have won three championships if we didn't have Ian Anderson on our team, because he, he was a guy that he used to tell the players, hey, you get in trouble out there, just tread water until I get there. And he was, I remember the first game we played the New Haven Blades. Uh, Don Perry was a tough guy in the league. He was the king of the league as far as toughness. So that night we played him in Clinton and uh, Ian said to me, who was this Don Perry guy? I said, oh, he's pretty tough, Ian. That's all he said. We started play and the play wasn't very old and him and, and Perry got in a fight. We got five minutes each for fighting, and Ian, I thought, got the best of it. He went in the penalty box, and the five minutes was up. They had a whistle blew for them to come out. They come out, went to center ice, and went again. And Ian, Ian put him down. So, and, uh, but he took care of everything. And it just was, don't touch Jack Kane, don't touch Bill Bannerman, don't touch Porter Smith, because they're our bread and butter. You know? So it was very, very interesting to, and he just, he just, and said, from then on, we just dominated. Ian could play, you know, he scored 16, 14, 15 goals some years. He wasn't, like today they use that word goon, which I hate, but Anderson could play hockey. He had played in the American League some. And uh, when we got him, we were, we didn't have to worry about guys running our younger forward, you know, junior kids. And, and uh, he, was a, he was a guy that said, hey, like I said, tread water till he get there. You know, there's, there's so much to say about Ian um, and he shared um, a bond with some of his former hockey teammates that, you know, to today, their memories of him are still very vivid. And, it, and it's amazing to see and hear, and um, uh, he's, he's, he's greatly missed. I had the privilege of um, calling him a friend. <laughs>